Just a few ideas on improving tissue density, specifically to our older our geriatric populations. Now, what we do with all of our clients uh, before workouts is we're going to foam roll, okay? We're going to do some sort of release work um, to the muscles to allow them to mo move through greater ranges of motion uh, as we do our workout. There's a lot of value in that. Um, and it, again, it takes doesn't really take very long at all. You know, we just want to know um, where we begin. So for, you know, a lot of our general population clients, you know, we're going to work on the major movers, all right? We have a variety of tools that we could potentially utilize, all right? We have a, we have a foam roller here. We have a medicine ball that's a little bit softer. And then we have a, a stick here that we can also roll. And that's just going to be based upon um, who we're dealing with, okay? And so if we're working with you know, an individual, maybe 50 to 65, 50, 50 70. Generally, we're going to want to foam roll on the floor. One of the biggest things um, when we're working on the quality of tissue, okay, which is not stretching, it's just working on tissue density, make sure the implement is fairly light. Um, this medicine ball is a little bit lighter than this roller. Uh, when we have larger groups in our boot camps, you know, we'll use heavier, we we'll use harder or lighter medicine balls just kind of based upon um, who we're dealing with. All right, obviously the lighter is going to be better for people that are just starting out, um, especially who have a lot of stuff going on. You know, we don't want them jumping off the roller, screaming and running away. Um, the heavier roller is going to be for people that might be um, in a little bit better shape. So, you know, for us, uh, without going through an exhaustive, um, you know, session as far as, you know, taking you through all of our rolling, you know, we're going to roll our major prime movers with rolling. I just want to press down into um, the muscle, create a little bit of pressure and just move slowly up and down like I'm ironing knots out of dough. We'll do, generally, we're going to do five to 10 just rolls here, maybe 20 to 30 seconds of pressure in each area. I'll do the, you know, the front of my leg, the adductor generally. Okay, we're getting the inside here. I'll have the client sit on the ball with a roller, cross their leg, work on hip rotators. From there, we're gonna go to the QL. Okay, we're gonna work on obliques, QL to the lower back here. We're gonna move to the upper back. Okay, and we're gonna finish with thoracic spine where I just arch my back over the roller. And again, I kind of work up and down. And the idea with that is we're working on the major prime movers um, to allow the body to move a little bit better through greater range of motion. Now, a question I get a lot, you know, what if the individual is somebody that sits down a lot? Or I'm sorry, somebody that is, you know, not able to get down to the floor. So for geriatrics, particularly our older clients, we don't want them getting up and down a lot. So your floor is the wall. Okay, and I'm going to show you what I mean. All right. So now I can take balls of various densities or foam rollers. I can just kind of find a spot. So the way here. I can just kind of find the spots where you know they are deficient. You know, and roll the same areas. Okay, so it's a little bit harder, but you know, as you can see, I'll wheel you a little bit closer here so you actually can see a little bit better. I'm going to work on these same areas, okay? So I can, generally with this, you know, I'm not even going to have them roll up and down per se. I'm just going to put pressure. We can do a little bit of micro movements, pressure down a little bit. Same thing, pressure down a little bit. You know, same thing, QL. You know, I can get my hip rotators here. I just roll up and down. And again, you know, we can take balls and various implements, really do the same thing. But for geriatrics, um, you know, our older clients, the wall is a great sort of intermediary step between the two things, um, and that's how we would look at tissue density. Okay, so uh, 50, I'm sorry, five to ten rolls, 20 to 30 seconds of pressure in each area, and then we move on to our mobility work.